Okay, everybody. So what I am going to do today is teach you all how to make the simplest, easiest salsa imaginable. Four ingredients. That's it. Four ingredients, maybe 15 minutes total. And you're going to have an amazing, amazing salsa. The great thing about this salsa is you can determine how spicy or how salty you want it to be based on how much you add. Before we start making this, we gotta go get the ingredients. So let's do it. Okay, seriously, is there anything better than being able to go out into your backyard or into your garden and pick your own vegetables? I love this. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, as you just saw, I was able to get my own cilantro, jalapenos. Now, I harvested a bunch more of these, but for the amount of salsa that I'm going to make in this video, I'm only going to use four. And then your own tomatoes. I mean, I love this. The only thing that I did not harvest from my backyard for this recipe is, is the onion. And that's just because I have not figured out how to grow onions yet, but I'm going to crack this code eventually. Again, so, four ingredients. This is it. Tomatoes, cilantro, jalapenos, and an onion. Now, for people that don't like cilantro, this probably won't be a recipe that you're gonna be able to handle because you need cilantro for this recipe. So before we go any further, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Just type in Down Home Backyard Gardening into either of those two and you'll find me. Okay, so for this recipe, what we're gonna to need to do is start roasting off the jalapenos. So that's the very first thing I do. Get them, we're gonna cut the ends off and then we're just gonna roast them. That's it. You can do it as fast as you want or as slow as you want. I do it at about a four on a gas burner stove. Um, you know, medium, a little, little less than medium. And uh, just constantly turn them. Okay, now that the jalapenos are doing their thing, we need to take care of these tomatoes. So this, is the, this is easy right here. Get a pot, water, salt. Now you can salt the water to whatever you feel comfortable with. Just remember, you can always add it later. You can never take it away. Okay, so as you saw, I was adding salt to the water. Now, I like the Himalayan salt, but you can use whatever kind of salt you feel comfortable using. Doesn't matter, but you definitely want to add some salt to it. Now we've got the water done. Now we've got to take care of these tomatoes. Real easy. You got to pit them, leave the skin on, put them in the water, and we're going to start boiling the tomatoes. You just want to get the pit out of the tomato. However you can do that, go ahead and do that. And that's it. I mean, you can always take this little bit off right here too, if you want. Now the tomatoes you want to use are, not, are kind of soft. You don't really want to use unripened tomatoes for this just because of the flavor, but these are nice. Just got them out of the garden, as you saw, and then a couple of these I got out of the garden a couple days ago and let them finish ripening on the window seal. Okay, once you have them done and in the water, now it's time to boil them. Now, what you wanna do is get a bowl. So I'm gonna use this bowl right here, and now it's time to cut up the cilantro and the onion. This is the cilantro, I've already washed it. The cilantro, you just, you want to get it as fine as you can. Now I know this doesn't look like a lot of cilantro because it's not. I'm not going to make a lot of this salsa for this video, so I'm using a smaller amount than I normally would. You need to be able to adjust your ingredients based on how much you're going to make. So since I'm making a small portion, this is about all the cilantro I really need. All right, once you've got the cilantro cut, put it in the bowl. All right, the last step now 
is the onion. And I have a secret weapon for the onion. How many of y'all have onion goggles? Or, you know, wear, you know, your COVID masks and all or all that stuff whenever you're doing onions. Super easy, simple tool that I use is this right here. Simple fan. Blows all that onion away and I never get into my eyes. So an essential tool for the kitchen for me is a fan for this reason alone. But now the last thing we have to do is chop up this onion, put it in the bowl. And just like that, we're done. Now we're gonna add the raw onion to the bowl that has the cilantro in it. Once you get to this stage, you're gonna sit this aside and wait until you're done with the tomato. Once the tomato skin starts to come off of the tomato, that's when we know they're done. So while we wait for the tomatoes to get done, we're gonna go ahead and get the blender out. As you can see, the tomato skin is starting to come off of the tomato. That is what we've been waiting for. Now that the tomato skin is coming off the tomatoes, we're gonna start getting down to the nitty gritty. So here's the final step. What we're going to do is add the jalapenos first. That's what I do. Again, if you don't like a super, super spicy salsa, just don't add as many jalapenos to it. So I'm just gonna put them all in. Ooh, that was hot. Good boy. So now that the jalapenos are in, you're gonna to wanna to start adding your tomatoes. This is a tricky step right here. Depending on how watery you want your salsa to be will depend on how much water you put in when you add the tomatoes. Does that make sense? If you want it super watery, just add a bunch of this salted water, the tomato water, into the blender. If you don't want it as watery, just lessen the amount of water that you put in. So for me, I've, there's almost no water in this ladle. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of water just to give it that little bit of extra in there. Don't forget the lid. All right, now just gonna blend it up. Okay, so now we've got it blended up. Now here's the interesting part of this whole recipe. The heat from the water that you were boiling the tomatoes in will actually help cook the onion and the cilantro and make them soft. I'm gonna stir it up. All right, and that's it. That's the salsa right there. All right, now here's the taste test. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, my mouth is on fire. I should not have used four jalapenos for this little bit. Like I'm breaking out in a sweat. <laughs> uh, the flavor's really good though. I definitely need to add salt to it. So this is the step where you can adjust the flavor to meet your palate. Some people like a lot of salt. Some people don't like a lot of salt. Some people like a lot of heat like this is right now. Some people don't like as much heat. So with this recipe, you can totally tailor the flavor of this to your palate. Okay, everyone, so that is this harvest taste and cook. Never done a harvest taste and cook before, so this was fun. Very, again, super easy recipe. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I hope you can actually enjoy making this. The, the funnest thing about this recipe to me is that I was able to get three out of the four ingredients out of my garden. And that's what it's all about, right? When you're growing stuff, it's to be able to go out and pick what you want to eat. And that's the joy of gardening to me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, share the video with anyone who likes salsa. I think this is a, again, a very easy recipe. It took me about 15 minutes. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and I've earned your subscription off this video, please hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell so you're always notified whenever I upload a video. And as always, everyone, shine bright and harvest hard. This is the part. All in. Yeah, it's hot. Good boy. Maybe because it was on the stove. Probably. Okay, so now that the now that the potato skins. Now that's the potato. Those TV shows, it's like in one of the America and then they start cooking. Mm -hmm. That's what this reminds me of. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. 
with my head in this at all. Oh. It's a chopped off. Yeah. Look at that. It's fun. No, it's not. I have to be able to get this too. Flying it onto me. What? Flying it onto me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I don't want to smell like cilantro. Then you have to move. You'll be alright though, I promise. <laughs> 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 Yeah, as you guessed it, she's here. Darian is behind the camera. Okay, so you re <laughs> because you I'm need dying. Holy. Ew. Yeah. Oh Lord. <laughs>